Welcome. One of the most common questions I think I've heard recently is, I'm getting started with Searchy Hubs. How do I set up my hub such that I can have multiple courses and maybe a membership all included in one hub? Now, at the time I'm recording this, the plans currently have uh, one hub for some of the lower level plans. And I don't know, it might change in the future when you see this, but I wanted to do a very quick, I'm gonna not talk a whole lot like is my tradition, try to get you through the idea of how are you gonna plan for a hub when you want to have multiple things like different courses and different memberships inside of one hub without paying for bigger things because you've only got that access to one hub. So how do you make that happen? Now, before we dive in, there's two things you got to know. One is that there's two kinds of hubs, right? There's a public hub and there's a private hub. The public hub, like the one you're in right now, is wide open to everybody. And you can always tell that, by the way, if you look up here in the upper corner, there's no little person icon next to this. If it's a private hub, there will be a person icon because that's where they get to change their settings and stuff. If it's public, that's not there. Now, the public hub, you cannot restrict who has access to what. You get access to absolutely everything. Okay? That's, that's just it. The second thing is that there are tags. And there's two kinds of tags. There's file tags and there's audience tags. I'm not going to cover file tags. That's a whole other topic. But with an audience, you can restrict the different sections in your hub based on their audience tags. And how you set those up is a whole nother topic as well. But let's just go through this. So let's, right now, this is a public hub. So everything you see in front of you is public. But if you were restricting it in a private hub, this is what you would do. Now, the first section up here, which is probably where you saw the video, that is, a featured section, the way I have it set up right now. The second section is a course. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two courses and a membership in this hub. Now, you could have more, you could have less, you could do however. But recognize, and by the way, I don't have any videos in this, but this is a, the Searchy Hubs course one is a playlist and it would be restricted by a tag, which I just called tag one. And there would be videos here, but I didn't want to create dummy videos. But you get the idea. There would be videos there. This playlist, which is actually course number two, would need a separate audience tag, which I called tag number two. Okay, so now you're starting to think about, oh, I could have a course in my membership and they would have to be restricted by audience tag. That audience tag would be applied when they bought something. Again, there's a whole lot of learning that you need to potentially do for how do you set those flags or tags. We're not gonna go into that. I'm just trying to get the concepts down that you could have a course and that course right now in this example is a simple playlist. Course number two is a simple single playlist, but those things need their own tags. Now you see sliding down here, I've got a third course, but it has two playlists in it. It has module one, which has multiple videos that would be displayed here. And then module two would also have multiple videos. So you potentially could have a course that has multiple modules in it. Now, it kind of has to have some way of identifying the separating them, right? You would either do that with names or potentially you could do it with colors, but you see that it could potentially start getting a little messy if, if person A buys both course one, course two, and course three. Now, it could be very simple, right? It might be very obvious depending upon how you have it set up. And this is all flexible, right? Depending upon what you feel your needs are to be able to share with people. But module or course number three 
notice it has the same tag. So you would set the playlists, the audience requirements for both of those playlists in the hub to be tag number three, because once they bought the course, then you would have the tag applied to each one of the modules that requires it, right? All right, now I'm going to go one step farther. Let's suppose you've got this kind of, this looks a little messy to me, right? I'm starting to feel like this is a little messy because I could have other sections to this. I could have more descriptions. I could have files. I could do, you know, call the grid, call the action grids. There's, you can have a lot more stuff in here. And so if you wanted to take this course number three, for example, now you're starting to think, oh, well, what if I had that in a separate place? Well, you could create that as a page. I'm not going to scroll down too far because I don't want to give everything away yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, command click on the mouse. On, uh, I guess that doesn't work, does it? Huh. Or I didn't do it right. So what I've done is I've created this course three as a separate page. You can have unlimited pages, even if you're restricted to just one hub. At least that's the way it is right now. So on this page, and this is a separate page, so it's like nesting if you were creating a site map like uh, Will and uh, Searchy team liked to show you how to do, this would be a separate page. You can put uh, sections on the pages themselves. So up at the top, there is this, uh, currently it's a call to action section with, pardon me, with no URL. And so there's no button here. So we're kind of hacking things to make it be just a text section. And then here I'm showing you the module one and module two from course number three. Okay, now you still, and i mad at myself because I didn't put the tags. You probably are going to make sure the tags are there so that if somebody gets to page number of uh, this page for course number three, they uh, have access to that course via those tags. Now, one of the things that you can do, if I go back to the main hub, you can use the menus. Now, as of this date, uh, the menus are not restrictable by tags. Now, we have submitted a feature request for that so that theoretically, if somebody doesn't have access to course number three, it wouldn't show up in the menu. Now, here's a little trick, which I and should have set up beforehand. I didn't think about it till just now, but that's, that's what happens when you do this kind of stuff. If I go to the page for course number three, one of the things I've been doing in my, well, let me, let me just, let's go this way. <laughs> so I go back to the main hub, to the main page, and I'm going to scroll down to that thing that I didn't show you before. So there's course number three, which has tag number three. Uh, but what if you had, and ignore this, I haven't talked about that yet. But what if you had this section that says don't own, own course three yet? Type some stuff to get them interested and send them somewhere. Clever words for me, isn't it? This only appears with certain audience tagging. So what I have been doing in my membership and my courses is that I, this is like a call to action, a true call to action section, right? So what I've done is I've created an audience tag and everybody new to my world, I've given them an audience tag of not something. Could have been a different name, but a different tag name. But for example, not course three, I would put this section such that the user, when they come in, if they have course a uh, not course three, then they would see this, which would lead them to a place where they would potentially buy course number three, right? When they buy course number three, I give them the tag which is tag three, and I take away the not course three tag. So I, that's the double function, but it gives me the ability to show something to somebody as like an advertisement 
And then once they buy, then they don't see the advertisement anymore. They only see their content. Okay? Now, the same thing is true with this membership page section, right? This is only shown to the people with the right audience tag. So I can have my membership in here. And I would show them potentially on the home page how to get there. So if I click on this, guess what? It's another page. So when they get to this page, this is the membership page. So I would give them some welcome stuff. And then I'd have the playlist for the membership if there's a playlist. I would have call to action stuff. So I would, I would have a separate page for all of the people that are in my membership. And each one of these sections, again, would be tagged with membership name so that we would restrict people from seeing this stuff if they don't have the tag, right? Now, I didn't include that in the menu, but I can include that in a menu as a separate page. And we could do the thing with the not tag where we describe what the membership is and then if obviously we hide that stuff when somebody joins the membership. So even if we got them to the page, they would understand that they need to purchase something in order to see the content. And you could tease them with some content, etc. All right. That's the way I think that you would potentially figure out how to make all of your pro all of your content fit inside of one searchy hub. If you're not aware of me, I am Mitch. I also sometimes go by Planet Mitch, so don't let me confuse you if I say Planet Mitch in something. And my website is called searchyhubs.com, which is a place where I am trying to help people understand the cool stuff inside of Searchy. And if you come over to searchyhubs.com, you can find out a whole lot more cool stuff. Thanks for watching. Hope this served you well. If you have any questions, please let me know. And psst, this was also recorded with Searchy.